Yeah, that's where it is. What the hell? Where did they get all this stuff from? Okay, we're just done with lunch. No videos, no proper videos because we just devoured that whole lot. So, um, we decided to come to this Bukit Timah, what's it called? Bukit Timah Fairways Junkyard. And I didn't believe it was called that, but if you look at Google Maps, I'm not being rude, it actually is called that. Uh, it's full of really interesting things. Look at this vase. It is taller than me and I'm 171 meters tall. And my friends are looking at this machine. So we're gonna take a look around. Maybe I can sell some of my junk. I can be inspired to minimize because this place is giving me some anxiety. just got inside that was all just the outside and it's really really overwhelming how do y'all know where to look it's like it's like a lot of stuff yeah that is nice don't get me started on vintage things huh? oh my gosh look at the number of spider webs there this is a reminder to myself to not be a hoarder Oh, then got something for modernization. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, it's joking. Jukebox. Yeah, that one is nice. Hey, don't tell me, guys. Hey, what is this? Yeah, Jake, come on. Hey, this one is damn nice, yeah. Yeah. Stop it. I got enough this stuff. Looks like the Mad Men, the... It's but it does look nice. There's some stuff at home. Can I take photos and the. Even rusty already, boy. Glasses from our childhood. What's this? Stick. What the? <laughs> okay, we're stopping for a break at Riders Cafe. I actually forgot how pretty this place is. I can't remember how the food is. Is the food any good? <laughs> yeah, we're just having dessert anyway. We're not talking like now. My friends were at least wait for me to like take. This is our mess of a banana caramel split, split for Charmaine's birthday. Mm -hmm. She doesn't care. Oh, I love the nuts in ice cream, man. I mean, you wonder she fight my I'm so glad I'm getting this on video. <laughs> <laughs> don't walk, sir. No, you don't walk, man. Protest. Trying a new place. What's the name of this place again? It's them not catchy, y'all. <laughs> you. It's super not catchy. My drink. Her drink. Look at this. I can't read it. It's even called a tongue. It almost looks savory. It looks like sauce. Yeah, it looks like sauce. <laughs> She ordered, what is this? Swan Chai Yu. Swan Chai Yu, and this is of course Mala. So we went for the less oily version because I want to drink it. But this is not a sponsored post. It's not, it's not, it's not. Just got views. <laughs> random coffee shop along Serangoon Road because I'm trying to find kinetics. I think they sell climbing here because my climbing shoes have like a huge hole and I think they're probably like 8 to 10 years old. I don't like spending money on equipment so anyway it has a hole and I was gonna fix it but I think I'm gonna check out 
uh, new climbing shoes because I want to look for one that is so bad with the technical terms are basically not flat but like a curved basically something a little bit more advanced because those were the very first climbing shoes I bought 8 to 10 years ago so it's somewhere around here let's try to find it Shoe and it is so freaking painful. Shockingly uncomfortable. Really, really. <laughs> okay, so I tried on a few different pairs, and uh, honestly, I think I might die if I I tried the downturn one, as some of my friends advised me to do, and it's really too painful. Like I feel like I'm gonna die or cry on the walls. Also, I'm probably the most common female size which is 38.5 so a lot of the 38.5s were sold out I tried on um, 39 which was too big and I tried 39 men's which was way too big like just too roomy I guess their feet are not as bony and then I tried a lot of women's 38 which those were the ones that made me want to cry so I think I gotta wait for them to restock in November and maybe I will look online in the meantime if I can find a store that has returns I'll get it delivered to me and then try and then see if that works. But I would say it was a really pleasant um, shopping experience. The lady at the counter, shanks. I'm not sure if I got her name. I think her name is Shirley, but I may have gotten that wrong. Um, yeah, she was really, really helpful. So the lady at the counter was really helpful and it made it a lot more pleasant, even though the shoes hurt like hell. Okay, failed climbing shoe shopping experience, but at least I kind of have an idea of what I want now. Now it's on to dinner. I'm gonna meet up with the girls to celebrate May's birthday, which was last Monday, but we couldn't meet up last Monday, so we're gonna meet up today. Happy Monday! Okay, I just think this is kind of interesting because this is like uh, the name of the temple that is on this side of the road. Maybe they own the entire street. Anyone have any idea? Walking around the Serangoon area, because I actually went to the Decathlon to see if the shoes there were cheaper. I mean, it's not like it's a spot that I do a lot, so I didn't really want to spend so much on climbing shoes. Anyway, the shoes there cost 50 bucks. I might just get those instead, just just to try the like more advanced shoe and to see if it works. So I'm walking back to the car, and I realize like I'm along BT Road, but it's very interesting because BT Road is split up into three parts. Let me show you. So this is BT Road. Right, so then that's this road here, that's BT Road. But then, down that way, that's BT Road as well. So, that's BT Road. But then here is BT Road as well. This whole area must have been some sort of kampong and like, they probably developed the area. That's why now BT Road is split into three parts. I'm gonna find out a bit more because I'm super curious. Anyone know? Let me know in the comment box below. Trouble, honey, is it you? 